Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Tuba Player Negative AE, and today we're back uh, right where we left off. Where what's his name died? It's actually been like a couple hours. I had to pause and like go play the tuba. <laughs> so here I'm back after I'm done playing the tuba. And um, here, search for Bianca's killer. Why did it turn out like this? Okay. So here's what I remember: a blackout happened. And everybody was all like, what? Where is everybody? I heard Biakia's voice. So he didn't attempt to scream. There was a person with night goggles. What's going on? Uh, give me a break. And Pekko was missing when the lights turned back on. He came back in the room, and everybody thought he turned on the lights. But he didn't. Actually, Pekko was no that was not there. Um, you can't doubt each other because you're all friends. Understand? But Mr. Ham Hand did, did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all gonna be killed, right? Wait. That being said, I cannot abide by this. I have finally made friends. There is no way I can doubt them. So. Seriously? Did you even listen to what I said? It's not a matter if you can abide by this or not. <laughs> we gotta do this to survive, right? then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you. No. Friends doubting friends is a major no-no. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Ah, shut up. Just go away already, you, you useless piece of trash. Ooh. Threats are scary. Do we really have to do uh. it? No, I don't want to do something like that. No. I don't want to do it either. It sounds scary. However, uh, it's just as Hayoko said, if we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason, yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakuya's death, and I will do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There is no need to de deceive or doubt each other. What we need, uh, what we need to fight is not ourselves. There's no mistake. But that which is trying to crush us, this despair, this hopeless reality, that's the real enemy that we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Um, uh, before you start, can I say something? Okay. What? What do you have to say? Well? In closed circle detective games, usually the player has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know. Yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. <laughs> destroyed the evidence? Pointing. Look over there, that big bulky brawny guy is p a perfect guard for the job. <laughs> Did he run away? What, what, what the heck happened? Man. He has a sensitive heart despite his... <laughs> okay, I believe it. Is that what that means? Hey. Can I be the... Uh, can, I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body, it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Byakuya's side. That's the least I can do. Uh, that's what guard duty is, right? Shouldn't we have two people watch the crime scene? Isn't it a little dangerous to have just one person? What if you are the person? I don't think you are. Nahiru. Well, um, I'll do my very best not to get in your way. I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy. Autopsy, please. Uh, so if you're going to s so you're going to stay as well, is that okay? <laughs> and specifically, what should we be doing now? I have no idea. Uh, it's pretty obvious that we're all just amateurs. Going through uh, clear each uh, going through each grain of sand on the beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police, and there's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. So let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Byakuya. <laughs> but to perform an autopsy on your friend, how cruel. <laughs> I have no choice, right? There's no way I could I could do something to, like, decline, right? I won't believe. Uh, I, I won't, won't believe. believe. Uh, Byakuya got killed. They don't believe it at all. You were just massive uh, denial. <laughs> you are right. Uh, if we are to survive, then this is our only path. This is the worst. Alright, so we're looking for so the knife. We, we should probably... Finding out who the killer is, that's our only hope for survival. Something like this is... Hope? Dots. Even so, I still gotta do it. 
Ta-da! You thought it was time for the investigation, but... The Monokuma file! Hey! Hey! Just as I thought, you al you amateurs need this, right? What the hell is a Monokuma file? Better I'm confused as well. I think there was something like that in the anime, but I didn't... Jeez, explaining all the rules, rules all the time really breaks my bones. It's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make make me say such a lame shit. Um, and you see, the Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. I've brought it to you guys so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Nice, you say? You're just a selfish meanie. What's this? I really like Monami. She, she was a little bit weird at first, but that was because the main character was making it weird. And now she's really cool. And she's trying to help everybody, and everybody's just pushing her off. And she's trying to help people. She's going to be the one that's like... You stupid uh, don't put me in the meaningless mask I found. Uh, come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here uh, with me. Ouch, don't pull my ears. They're going to come off. They're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look over it just in case. Alright, Monokuma file. Dead. Cause of death. The victim's body... Oh, it's gonna tell me. The victim on... Uh, the victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The estimated time of death is 11.30pm. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. Okay. Aside from that, the body had no other external injuries, and no chemicals such as poison were detected. Okay, stabbed. Yaki is really dead. Uh, you promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why did you be the only uh, end up being the only one? That's why, though. He promised that he would protect everybody, so the killer has to get rid of him. And now I'll never know what you were going to say to me. I don't talk to him. I suspect that my skeptical nature is, part is partly to blame. Uh, distrusting others and being distrusted in turn for a long time has been... My life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. I do remember that. Inevitable that my... In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be... Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys? You can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? Hmm. A traitor? Now, just because he said lots of serious things doesn't mean that he was the traitor. What am I thinking? Uh, has been added to the truth bullets uh, section of your handbook. Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right, I need to do it. If we're gonna survive, we need to do it. I need to prepare myself for the worst. Investigation. Okay. The first thing that we should do is go over to the body. Yakia was dots. First, I should investigate the top of the table. Though, the only thing on top of this table that really catches my eye is this desk lamp. Okay. It's an antique lamp that looks that's uh it's an antique lamp and it seems rather heavy. The power cord is connected to the outlet, so it would have been useless during the blackout. Other than that, there's nothing on the table that really stands out to me, so that's not the time for me to finish. I gotta do it. I let out a shout to encourage as if to encourage myself, quickly looked underneath the table. Look at that tape. Rested iron hanging in the air. What is that tape though? Uh, and during this stingy pain, I surely sit toward Byaki's body. After that, there's the kind of guy who said lots of hurtful things. But he tried his best to lead everyone. Why did he have to end up like this? The only thing I can do right now is, for Byaki's sake, uncover the truth behind his death. Okay. So what is, um, what is that? There's something stuck to the back of the tape. Is this duct tape? Yes. Seems to be paint applied to the non-sticky side of the duct tape. Uh, the dim light beneath the table, it seems to glow dully. Could this be glowing paint? Let's look at the knife. The bloody knife. 
Is this the weapon that killed Yakia? Hold on. How did the killer bring this knife to the dining hall in the first place? Byakuya thoroughly patted everyone down because one of the knives was missing. All the confiscated items uh, were supposed to be placed in that Duralman case. It's possible they stole this knife from the case. Or, did, or they hid it somewhere hard to find. Oh, so there's one more thing about this knife that's strange. There's paint on it. The paint has been applied to the hilt. The dim light on it seems to glow dully. Could it be this glowing paint? A knife has been added. A knife has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. And look at these night vision goggles. What's this? Looks like binoculars, but why are there a pair of binoculars in the table? Hey, Hajime, those aren't binoculars. They're night vision goggles. Are you stupid? Perhaps. Night vision goggles. I've seen them at the supermarket on this island. They also sell stocks off the defense kits too. If that's the case, did the killer use these night vision goggles to kill Byakuya during the Graka? Dude, I'm attaining all the truth bullets! Okay, so that's that. Bloodstone. Blood flow formed a huge pool under the table. There's lots of blood. There's blood splattered everywhere. Uh, the inner side of this tablecloth is covered in blood. The blood might have splattered all over the place when he got stabbed. But there doesn't seem to be any drag marks leading from behind the blood pool. It's been added to the truth, but, uh, so, okay. So he's not, he wasn't dragged? So I'm guessing the duct tape was to prevent him from screaming. Uh, and then the, he was killed. He was killed because someone stabbed him. Someone had night vision goggles. Where, the only way, let's just, can we, can we leave? Wait, is there more? Byaku's body. Let's look at Byaku's body. Body's clasped face down on the table as if he was in the middle of attempting something. It looks like he was, according to the Mahakuma file, stabbed repeatedly in the throat and abdominal region. Repeatedly stabbed. Would one of us really do something so horrible? Okay, I'm sure I've pretty much investigated what's under that table. Despite the fact that it's just me, I think I'm working pretty hard. Even if it's just a little. I'm sure we're getting close to the truth behind Yakia's death. Okay. So... Let's look at the Duraman case, or the Duraman case. This is the metal case Byakia. He said it was made of stone. Last time I saw it, it was closed, but... There are a lot of odd things inside this case, like a nightstick and pepper spray. What's this? The plastic, but it's just the case. The inside is empty. Hmm, I wonder what is inside. One thing that really catches my attention is... A small key. It must be the key to the other door in the case. Uh, which, this case was inside of the office, and all of the dangerous items were inside it. If the key to the Duralman case is right here, then it's unlikely the murder weapon used to kill Byakia was taken from that case. Which means the weapons inside the Duralman case aren't related to Byakia's murder. Even so, I still don't get it. Why did Byakia have this Duralman case in the fr uh, Dur Duralman case? Duralman? Is that how you pronounce that? A case packed with all the security equipment. Maybe he was being extra cautious just in case? No, that can't be right. It's just way too overboard. I think he knew. Like, I, like honestly, that's why he did this party. Because he knew someone was going to die. He went through all this trouble to be extra careful. The Duralman case has been added to your truth box uh, of the handbook. Okay. Is there anything under this table? You table, not much under the other table. Okay, nothing. Let's talk to everybody. Oh, Hound Herring, answer my call. Impossible. Uh, the, is this effort futile as well? Are you still looking for the earring you draw? You! It's not a mere earring, it's just the Hellhound earring. Or earring. Earring? Earring? Um, there's a beast on a Hellhound who he summoned it. This is certainly random. Hellhound is. Why are you cared about this dude? When I finally trained the, the Diabolic Beast. Diabolic Beast. I received a shiver. Hellhound earring. 
so that I may never forget the night that I battled the fearsome Pomeranian. Uh, I wear it in all times. Is it really a f I understand it's important to you, but for now we need to invest in it. I won't let you! Maybe it fell underneath the floor? The carpet didn't cover the whole floor. It might have fell uh, in between uh, exposed floorboards. <laughs> so that's what transpired. Such a clever look. <laughs> I can see it! There it is. I found it, truly. This that is the Hellhound here. <laughs> it seems God exists for my benefit. I see, good for you. God. Let me ask. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Where do I where I to use a tool I would probably not reach it either. Maybe you should just give up? What? Give up? What? The world? I mean give up the earring. Cool, have you not yet realized? The world will come to an end if the human race were to lose that earring. You humans are so satisfied with the clothing yourself uh with the with clothing yourselves and there's false knowledge. You rich, you will but die. even when those other must not survive the winter, why am I being scolded? <laughs> it's foolish of me to rely on you fools. Fine, I will do something about it on my own. Now if you excuse me, I must go save the world. Once that me earring back by any means necessary, the determination is truly inspiring, but it'd be nice if you actually helped me with the investigation. Oh, that's nice. I like that. A truth bullet with cracks in the floor. I wonder where I'm gonna use that. Girl, what do you have to say? Me and you are buddies. I must investigate my classmates' body. I'm the one who has medical knowledge. That's why I need to do it. I need to, to, to do it somehow. Before you start, why don't you calm down a bit? You're right, I need to calm down first. See, my character's like super level-headed right now, and I'm very confused, right? Because he's so stupid. <laughs> but like now he's like level-headed. It's pretty obvious how, how you felt, right? Really. I'm terribly sorry about that, for, for showing you something so unsightly. Oh, you made me remember it again. Spread eagle. <laughs> I made such a fool of myself in front of everyone. Uh, forget making a fool of yourself. How in the world did you end up like that? Well, I was startled by the blackout, and I slipped on the carpet. Once I was struggling to get back up... That's so embarrassing. Please erase it from your memory. Even if you ask me, I won't be able to forget it. I'm sorry. I can't stand it. Okay, so she couldn't have been the murderer because she was... She was obviously preoccupied, like, right? She she fell on the floor. She could not have been the murderer. I hope she's not. I really like that girl. I don't think it is. I think it's I think it's Pi or whatever. Hey Hajime, there's something I wanted to run by you. Before the blackout occurred, Biakia was in the dining hall with the rest of us, right? Yeah, that's right. And if Biakia's dead body was discovered after the blackout, do you think he died? Uh, then don't you think he died during the blackout? Well, now that you mention it. What? But why was Byakuya's body under a table? That's my question. Even if the killer tried to hide him, it's not like they would But there's no drag marks. Even if the killer, it's not like he would have stayed hidden forever. Isn't it confusing? You're absolutely right. It seems like finding out what happened during the blackout is the key to solving the mystery. There's no way I'd know. It was so dark during the blackout, I couldn't see a thing. That's not it. Although, if seeing was impossible, then there's a possibility someone might have heard something. Heard something? Are you talking about her? Did you hear something? Dots. Ma Mahiru, are you oh, maybe that's why she's all like... Yeah, I'm fine. What's going on? Is that what you expected me to say? Because I feel terrible. One minute, Byakuya is alive and well, and in an instant, something awful suddenly happens. Of course I'm not fine. Why? And not only that, but whoever killed him is one of us, right? That hasn't been determined yet. It's already been determined. You've already accepted it, haven't you? This is the worst. That we have to find out who the killer is. Find out which friend killed our friend. I don't like it either, but it, uh, we won't survive. We don't go through with it. Uh, it's not just for yourself. We have to do it to protect all of us. To protect all of us. If I had only acted the calmer during the blackout, Byakuya might still be alive. This is the worst. This whole thing would have never happened. Stop blaming yourself. Nothing good will come of it. Shots. Ah, jeez. Getting cheered up by a boy isn't like me at all. Got it. Hey, Hajime, forget what I just said. Got it? Yeah, that's fine. I got it. Hmm. Anyway, 
I, I, I won't dwell on it for now. I can't become a burden to everyone. Plus, there might be a clue that only I have access to. Yes. Tell me. Hey. Photos. The ones that I, uh, I took just before the blackout, remember? Hey, Biakia. Come on, everyone. I'm going to take a picture. All right, say cheese. Snap. Can I see those? Oh, yeah, the hmm. pictures. Want to see them? I have a digital camera, so I can show them to you right now. Really? Please. Um. Okay. Let's see... It's this photo. What's his name is in the back. He's mad. Hmm. And this one. And he's way over there to the left. B uh, Biakia is over there to the left. Um, no one's by the circuit breaker. I took these two photos right before the blackout, but... So this shows everyone that's in the room. Something wrong? Hmm. I didn't realize it until just now, but before the blackout, Biakia was standing in a totally different... Yeah, I agree. You see him way over there on the other side of the room? Wasn't his body on the, under that table with the lamp on top of it? Uh, the one underneath the monitor? Yeah. And you see that shady looking white haired lucky guy? Prior to that, Biakio was standing along the wall furthest away from the table. Alright, that is pretty far. There's something... Everyone's standing position before the blackout might be a huge clue. Hey, can you approximate everybody's standing position from these, video from these photos? Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It'd be hard to understand from the, from the photos alone, so it might be easier for me to plot it out. Mm. But would that actually provide a clue? I don't know, but I feel like it- yes. Leave it to me. That's pretty much the only job I can do anyway. Thank you. Alright, now that that's decided, you better, do your best. you better work hard on your investigation too. How much longer are you going to plan on standing do around? You understand? Do you understand what's going on? you got to find out how Biakia died. I know, but... She's all fired up now, she's a totally different person than when she was feeling down. Did you hear something? Are you gonna say the same thing? I don't care! Even if you have... Sorry, Ma, I can't stand the shame. Can I leave? Or is there something I haven't investigated yet? No, stop! Please don't! Oh, I just wanted to click on the AC. I just wanted to see the AC. Thank you for... Okay, can I see this? So, hmm, an air conditioner? Could it be? Hey, why can't all of you act a little more grown up? Beep, beep. What was that sound just now? <gasps> Is that what caused it? Oh, the air conditioner is probably the only machine inside this room. The air conditioner's remote control. The timer is set to 11.30 p.m. I'm pretty sure Biakia's time of death was around the same time. So that means the mechanical sound before the blackout probably came from this air conditioner. Flashes of my inspiration on the back of the Hajime. I think it's you. I think it's you. I, I don't know. There's still like high suspicion on... What hey. is it? When we finish our investigation here, would you like to hear what everyone has to say together? If I go by myself, people might not talk to me out of caution. Well, we've been told one of us is a killer. It can't be helped if everyone's on edge right now. But why me? <laughs> You're easy to talk to, and I feel like you have a uh, sense similar to mine. We both harbor special feelings toward Hope, Hope Speak Academy, isn't that right? Well, yeah, but... Fine. If we're gonna be together, let's get on with it. But there's no time for idle chit-chat. Thanks. I'm glad. I'll, it'll be a great help. Special feelings, huh? Even so, uh, even so, what he said about us being similar, I don't think I agree. Now then. Now, I guess for now we should search the inside of this building and listen to what the others have to say. 
not just the dining hall. I think we should consider the whole building uh, the scene of the crime. After all, the blackout took place during uh, the time it would have happened throughout this entire building. Yeah, you're right. Alright, at that, I'm going to end the episode because there's going to be a lot that we need to do outside here. Uh, I, I'm going to check that office because the office is the circuit breaker. And she wasn't there, which is weird to me. Uh, the sword girl, she was supposed to be there. So I'm going to go investigate her. I don't know where she went, but I'm uh, definitely talking to her because I think she is definitely part of it or maybe she has a good excuse. I don't know. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This is Tupa Player Negative AE. Uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. I uh, hope you guys are having a good rest of your day. Peace out, guys.